Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another episode Hello. of our live show. So glad to have you with us today. I'm a... Uh... Keep talking. I'm, I'm just trying to... Okay. T Tim, Tim setting up the thing. And we got mail this week. Well, a <laughs> we little mail, mail and a visitor, actually. So, we have a couple of things to share. So, okay. Uh, and for those of you who know, we were going to do the barn door this week. I had to put it off a week. So... Um, Why don't you take that? Okay. I put it off a week because... Um, Stampin' Up! added more things to the celebration choices and, you know, it just seemed kind of current. So I thought we should just kind of do a wrap up on that. So know that next week we're going to be using this stamp set. We'll make like this, on a card like this. She gives me this much room on the chair. I know. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, I should there was get, a day we fit better on the chair. <laughs> I should go get my own A long chair. time ago. <laughs> So um, we're going to make this, and I'll show you a couple of different ways to make these. They're actually easy to make, and then we're going to do a lot of simpler cards that don't use the whole thing and other things you can do with this set. So I'm really excited about that. So hopefully no one's too disappointed because we just had to switch. Next week, and that card was made by Marianne Grimmer. And okay, since I grew up on a dairy farm, barn doors are important. Yeah, so he's looking forward to using that set. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but you know. Um, first, we each got mail from Tim and Karen so we're gonna open these and I love this this and I love a letter too this is Charlotte uh -huh. Arns from Washington and oh oh and fun greens okay Connie this could be your green uh, St. Patty's Day cards right even though they're not but oh I love it and I love that fold look at that oh that's fabulous and I love mine, and I love the greens. It's a very spring color. Thank you, Charlotte. Charlotte lives in Washington State. And as you can tell, I don't have my green hat on today. And Holly is going to be traveling. She is actually going to California, and she's going to make some stops on the way. And we're actually going to do, she's going to do a couple of events. She's going to do one with Tim's sister, Mary, in uh, Pittsburgh, California. And she's doing one in Spokane, Washington, and she's up for meeting anyone along the way. So we would love to know who's kind of from those states too, Washington, Oregon, Northern California for sure, and then anywhere going. You, Can I read uh, this? Oh, okay. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for the, this is from Charlotte. Thank you for the wonderful cookies. They were frozen when they got here. <laughs> that would make sense for winter, I wouldn't it? they were in the, the bottom of an airplane and it was very, very cold up there. With hot coffee and a quick thaw, Wonderful. I ate every one of them. I'll read thank my you. letter later. <laughs> <laughs> but thank, that's thank great. You. And then we had a visitor from Kathy Turner who lives in Oregon. So I guess this is what the West Coast. Um, wait, but how fun. And she actually brought gifts that she made. So here is Tim. You can share yours on the card. Okay. So I said, how fun is that? She came to, she visited her sister in Wisconsin, and they both came over to move your arms our card extravaganza. <laughs> Maybe we need two chairs, you know. It's just... I think we do. <laughs> Isn't that a great um, simple card layout? I just absolutely love that with designer series paper and the apples. It looks great. I did share. Thanks, Donna. No, uh, I'm sorry. I had to put it up one more time because there's just too much to share first. And so we're still in celebration. You gotta but read just this wait. Too. It'll be worth the wait. I got to read this too. <laughs> Tim, thank you for being the host with the most. Okay, he'll take that. Matthew Turner. He loves thank all compliments. <laughs> Hey, oh, Holly, that's great. And, you know, I have been collecting um, emails, those of you who know you've signed up, but I've never asked for states and cities before, and I'm starting to do that because I thought it would be nice when... I'll be right back. ...any of us are traveling um, to be able to plug in where we're going because we love meeting for people for coffee just as a stop, too, and we would love to do some... And if we do some events in areas, we would love to make sure we message you those. So, And, uh, yes, we're going to do some things in... Florida in the in November. So okay, anyway, I'm oh, back. oh, did you show your gifts? Yes. Oh, but okay. I guess I gotta show, oh, show you what it's oh, for. Oh, you've got to do the demo here. Yes. Okay, help me out here. Because we are demonstrators after. <laughs> Tim may need help to use this. But <laughs> I think I'm. <might. laughs> He's just okay. got to figure it out. <laughs> I got a cozy. Is that great? Cozy. This says flourish. Uh, Vanessa, uh, we'll make it to Michigan someday. It's one of our cups that are biodegradable. And it costs two bucks. And this is a 
perfect cozy for hot coffee in it. Isn't that nice? Yes. It's from Kathy. Yes. And we are definitely looking at an East Coast trip too. But um, okay. oh, I better, I keep interrupting. Yes, she does. I foolishly <laughs> said the hot pad. And she said, no. <laughs> she said, I could burn yourself. It's a, a washer. You better not try it. The shape of a hot pad. And another one. Are those wonderful? So I have got to start using these. They've been in the pile for show and tell. So, but now that they've been shown and told about. Yes. I okay. Will, now we can use them. I can use them. And she gave me one of, this is one of my favorite card layouts too. So I love simple, stunning card layouts, you know, with the squares going all around the pinwheel. We've done that sometimes. It's just an awesome thing. Thanks. And we have, oh, and thanks you guys for sharing. We have Marie, Cindy, Nancy, Karen, Pam, Doris, Robin, Marjorie. And we appreciate so much when you guys share. I think uh, last week when I gave a stamp set, <laughs> I said this was for sharing. Our shares went from typically about 20 up to 99. And I said, you guys just really shared. And it made such a difference in the number of people who saw our videos. I just, I cannot thank you enough for um, helping spread the word. So I said, I just wanted to say that. And we're gonna do a drawing today for a stamp set too, but today it's just for commenting. Um, and uh, the do you first, have any, we, do you have any idea where that stamp set is? The one which for today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's you do. The pile okay, under there. good. Oh, so that is good. I thought maybe it was in the so, other room, and I had to go find it. Wonderful, wonderful. I love this. And she made me, and and um, everyone's on a green kick. So I think that's spring coming. Uh, wonderful shawl, and she said she knew my hammock was green, and I'm always outside in the leaves. So how perfect is that? And she knew. I that, will use. What a wonderful one. And she so, knew. And she knew that I could use it. When it gets really cold. Uh, he he may use it more than I do because he's always got something around his neck. That's true. If it's in the house and uh, um, we, all, we all bundle up at night, you know. So so thank you. And thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And then. Can we leave? Yep. You can leave now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back though. I'm, so, I'm doing a technique card today. Yes. Which is his favorite thing to do. So stamping up you know, added a whole bunch of things to the celebration thing. So I'm going to show some quick things with that afterwards. And that's why I thought, because we're kind of into the last month here, I just should take a break and also show one of my other favorite celebration choices that just doesn't get a lot of play. And I haven't really shown it. It is this fun little pack of sweet soiree memories and more. And of course, I'm not using them for Scrapbooking, they're perfect for that because we've got your two sizes that fit four by six and three by four is either three by five, whatever they are that are back. kind of a standard. It'll oh, it says it. Well, no, no, it doesn't. I think That's it does. Okay. Tim doesn't know. I think you have to keep looking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> four by six, it tells you the large ones. So I wanted to make these into cards and I did not spend very much time because so I just took this out last night. <laughs> Oh, everyone's loving the shawl, and uh, you do gorgeous work. So wonderful. And thanks, Beverly. Yes, Kathy said that's great. And um, Holly will stop in and see her. See, then the visits go round and round on her way um, through Oregon. So what I did was I just took these and just spread them out and then just looked for what I could do. I added white cardstock for bases and a few accessories and a few bits of scrap paper, and we're going to make really, really quick cards. Our Thanks, dining, for sharing. Yes. Our dining room table was covered. It was just covered. They're all sprawled out. And I made 12 cards, and I still have tons left over. So we're going to do this really quickly today, because yes. I just want to make sure you didn't overlook this. This is my these. job. Oh, oh okay. okay. What do you think I'm Hands off. For? Okay. So I'm just going to move along here. And do you know what? I need another one of these. I didn't realize. Um, or a refill from the middle drawer of the commode. Okay. I'll send, I'll send him fetching. I didn't realize this was almost almost out, and we are doing things. I think we always need quick cards. And this, these are really pretty elegant cards, you know, because, you know, they're a little more flor florally and things. So is not as much mail cards with this set, but all of these kinds of things work well. And you always need some of these. When I think commode, I think of the bathroom, but I think you're talking no, about... No, the old commode. That's what it's called. We have one of those old commodes, you know, where you kept the water pitcher on top and the and the you know, whatever, the chamber pot in the door. And of course, mine's filled with all of my refills and accessories, so it's a stamp place. <laughs> and then the other thing I did was I just pulled out a bunch of stamps that had words in them, so I would have different words. So here I did, wishing you a day of love and happy memories. So I thought, wouldn't that be a lovely wedding card? See, and everything has two sides. 
So to make these really quick, this first one, so it's going to be varying degrees of difficulty, but I just wanted to show just some quick layouts that you can do with just using these papers too. Look what I found. Oh yeah, he's, he's good. Okay. And then let's see, if I wanted to add a little bling to that one, you know, I'm going to, on this one, just add a few little rhinestones. Because, you know, it's a wedding, why not? Whoops. So I'm going to add three. They generally say to think in terms of three, but, you know, rules are also meant to be broken, so it's all good, whatever you do. Here is card number one, just Quick and easy done. Um, wishing you a day of love and happy memories. This would also be fun for an anniversary card or for lots of different kinds of gatherings. I think that is just fun when you're doing something, you know, for someone. So there is the first card, and I guess I'll throw them on the floor. We just kind of run out of room. Okay, so next, I took this paper, and it, again, has two sides. And this time, I just put it on two more papers. I'm not giving you sizes because I'm making a double, but I'm just kind of telling you my thought process. You know, I always talk about quarter inches. Yeah, Marilyn said she's overlooked these. I think things like this get overlooked because if you're not a scrapbooker, I think, you you know, you just kind of don't tend to notice. So I just went, so this is, I think, a three by four. Yeah, so three by four. Okay, so see, then I just went three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and then three and a half by four and a half. So that's kind of how I did all these cards. You really just don't even need measurements. And I thought, isn't that just pretty paper? And now I will put this on my white. This would also be a fun kind of thing to take with you if you're going somewhere and you just want to take along a few things to work on. And then I took my little happy birthday here. Always need birthday cards. And I, I just use circle punches. I'm just using different sizes and putting that one on. Whoop. I'm going to be sending a lot of these cards out too, so people will get them. And now I can decide. I think on this one, I'm actually going to put this right in the middle because there's that spot right there. Okay. So another fun card. Let's see, maybe I can... Put those right there, and let's see here. I'll grab to figure out where, where they all are. I'm starting with, of course, a couple of the really easy ones. Look how pretty this is, and it's just a perfect place for your words. So I just put thanks kindly. I also, I love this, collect moments, not things. This would be a fun thank you for someone who that you did something with, and um you know, in, in memories or, uh, or, you know, if you get a gift and it's tickets to something, you know, how fun, you know, I thank you for giving me the memories, you know, something like that. Uh, cause, and look at that pretty backside. So it's just hard to, and you get, uh, I don't know, two or three, it must be a couple of each of these. Okay. And I'm going to put this one up. I have to remember how I was decided. Cause you see, I didn't want this to show. It wasn't going to, it would fit with that, but I wasn't going to do it. So let's do it this way. So then I don't remember what I was thinking, but see, with these, I am not even, oh, here's another one. Okay, see, I have, can't, wouldn't this be a great card? This made us laugh. If you go on a trip with someone or you did something, you just had a fun night at a party. Wouldn't this make a great card about how much fun? You know, I was kind of saying it there and just saying, we had so much fun doing that with you. <laughs> so I think these words are just really fun for cards. Well, thanks, Reva, Diane, Nancy. Oh, um, the colors in this, and so I just, I use these. So this is it in here, and there are lots of color choices, so I just pulled a few of these out of the scrap. I use mostly, I used one um, old olive for ink, and the rest I pretty much used Berry Burst just because I didn't want to pull out all the inks. But look at this. It uses Basic Gray, Berry Burst, Calypso Coral, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Marina Mist, Old Olive, Powder Pink, Rich Razzleberry, um, and then it also coordinates with the sweet soiree, um, sweet and paper. And I'm not using, you know, any of that, but isn't that great? Cause you have all these choices. So if you just have a couple of them and so I just think that'd be a great card. And then if you had a little picture with it and this, so see, I love these backsides too. 
And I love to encourage people to think of saying something different. It kind of fits in with you're going to thank them for. But today we're just using it as a quick little thank you there. And I did bring, let's do a little bling. Let's do a little bling on this one. Oh, let's do green since we've got greens here. I just wanted to try out. So. Of, you don't think I so, think Tim? Tim doesn't like no. the green. Okay. It, it, it's lemon lime green. And otherwise these work. These, oh, let's do these. Yeah, they're better. Yeah, but we'll we'll do. See, I'm okay. color blind. We're gonna do I this. I still have an opinion. <laughs> and, yes, and he loves to share them. Yes. Don't we all? <laughs> very much appreciates. That. I do. Sometimes I ask for his opinion, and he's what? <laughs> she does. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bling right there. Okay. So here's my little thanks kindly. The other thing I would um, very likely do is bring out my wink of Stella and add. A little of that, please. It'd be great. But for time's sake, we're not going to do that today. Okay, here's another one. So if you get tired, I can do my card and you can take a rest. <laughs> so this card is blank like this. Don't you just love all these things? And then there's room to write. This would be nice on the inside of a card, you know, because there's things that coordinate on the outside. And then this could be your pretty inside to write your note. I am using these as a... a <laughs> Yes, Kimberly. Um, I'm using this as as actually my thing. So I use two stamps on here that says thanks. I'm overwhelmed by your generosity, your giving spirit, and your unending kindness. So this is the same size as this, and I wanted this to be my background. And this says, well, hello there. So I angle cut this one to see what's on the back. Oh, stripes, they're always good. And then I cut one more little bigger piece that would be a quarter inch bigger than this would be. So I am going to put these on the ends like this. And just look what little, you know, other stuff, just any of these papers, you know, would work. So I love that you don't have to own all of them. Okay, so I will put that on the front. And it doesn't even matter if it's upside down there, does it? Since we're not, since we're hiding those words. Make sure we're hiding the words. Yes, that will go right in there. And I think with this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add a little ribbon. It's just fun to talk about ribbon again. And I know Karen was asking me again a reminder. You know, a few weeks ago, I showed what black inks you use with what. I'm going to be putting that up. Uh, a sheet about that, both in the back porch stampers, which is my customer group, and in my downline group, because it's just nice to have that as a reference. So to answer your question, Karen Seawick, I think it was. Okay, and I'll trim that. Oh, did you catch how I did the ribbon? Do you need me to do that again? <laughs> People are keep saying, I don't remember how you do the ribbons. And this is how you want to do the ribbons. And now when I'm going to point it out, it's not going to work. I mean, how that goes. So I'm going to do my first tie, just like normally, and I'm right-handed. So there is my first tie. And then I'm going to hold it right there, bring this around. And I'm just going to hang on to this right one. I'm not pulling the right. Do you see how I am just pulling the left? And it gives me a nice, I don't know if you can see that, but it just gives me a nice round thing right there. Hold it a little closer. I don't know. Can you see that? Okay. And then um, I'm going to let Tim take this and pop it up for me. I'm going to keep talking. But I think that will just make a fun little background. You can do, um, you can put that on. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's a, this is how it goes. And I'll look for the next one here. Do I use about 20 of these to do it? Oh, I think, yeah. It, you know, I don't have tons of packs left, so we'll see. Maybe not. You could probably use the whole pack right on it. Thanks, Anne. And thanks, Nancy. Thanks for sharing. I think that's all so good. Um, and then we're doing just in these fun colors. Um, I love this one, too. This would be another great one to put on the inside. So I'm always just pointing out the insides, but since I'm not doing fancy insides, you can also do it as the front. And I love this, these words. If you could see my face, you'd see the smile you put on it. Uh, you know, what a great thank you, you know, or anything else. So this one I am going to put 
thoughts. Even this one, this week, wouldn't that be fun to say this week, my highlight was having coffee with you or, you know, whatever we did together. You know, it, it's just fun to be creative because no one's expecting cards like that. <laughs> so this time I'm just going to angle this a little so you'll see this. And of course, this would be perfect for coloring if you like to color. Mm -hmm. Having troubles, Tim? No, it's pretty exciting. Oh, okay. Yeah, six. Oh, you only use six. So whoever gets that card, if it comes flattened in the mail, will you give Tim a message that he should have used his 20? No. <laughs> oh, Paula, I hope your surgery recovery is going well. What stamp set did I use for the words? Um, do you know, these are going to go to my blog tomorrow, and I will just go in there and list the stamp sets from each word because I just did a... Pile. And of course, you know, I just finished this right before I came on air. So you'll just go to my blog, KarenTitus.com tomorrow. And um, this is so great because Holly takes notes while I'm so, you know, kind of it's easy to get written. And then right after this, I take pictures, put them in, and I'll add the what word sets. So I just wanted to have, um, I wanted to use this, but I wanted straight lines because it was just getting too busy for me. So I just cut this. So see, I'm gonna have all this left. And really, I'm just trying to show different ideas because you can cut apart this paper. I still have all that left. And now I can put this. You can put it down crooked, but it's, it'll have to do. It'll do. Oh, and look what I did. I, I cut that crooked. I was going for a nice, um, <laughs> even thing because I didn't want the busyness of going. And do you see, wasn't that nice cutting? I hmm. did not I like this style. pay any attention there. It looks like it's on purpose. Sure, it is. So that's good. We always mean to do that. And actually, you know what I'd like to do with this one? Oh, here, I would tell you what I would actually do. To, I'm going to send Tim away with an assignment. Well, here, let's see if I can do it. Here's my idea. I love this flag sticking out. So I'm going to see if I might, I might ruin it. But, but, you know, this is how we try ideas. I'm going to cut this shorter. On television? And you know, it's it's all okay, because now I can still cut the corner, but it'll still fit in an envelope because I cut off the edge. And I thought, that's just kind of a fun look. It's just a little different. So it's a, a thinner card and it has a thing like that on it. And this will be popped up. And here I would put, um, you know, you could add a little color or let's see, let's see, those aren't just, you know what? I, I really like, the, you know, let's see. Let's just put some, some of these. Because we've got the little circles up there, let's just put a few in the flowers. So as you can see, I am creating as we go. Just talking, this is how I talk to myself. <laughs> yes, you do. And you try different things, and sometimes you say to yourself, I should have stopped while I was ahead. And so I don't even listen anymore because I know that she's usually talking to herself. Yes. That's true. You never, you never do know. Okay, so we just have a three, and now Tim can pop that up. <laughs> yes, a lot of our mistakes are on purpose. Love that, Doris. That's so true. <laughs> Sandy said it's gorgeous in St. Louis. It's gorgeous here too. Oh, I've been waiting for this weather. Um, there's still a lot of snow under my recliner, but I mean my hammock. But I'll be there soon. But I do have a gravity chair, which I call my relaxer chair. And I certainly am out in that. So and I'm ready to eat outside. You want me to go do this again? Yep, why don't you do it again? See, you're going to do it. So he did that one. This one I did before I stopped and thought, I should just do this live. It's kind of silly. So I just have to show you this one. And you see here, I just cut out from one of these. And you could cut out several from one. So from one of the papers, that's just fussy cutting. Put it on a punch. And then I used one of the others. I uh, just cut it in half, and then they overlap under here. But I think that is a, this po pokey thing is the, the piercing tool. And you can use it for paper piercing, and I use it to pull things up. Um, so it's good for both of those. So there's another one. Uh, okay, now we have, reach my others here. Yeah, so I was just moving along, doing these uh, as quickly as I could. Now this one... This hello is from one of the big sheets, and I used the other side. So You mean big shots? <laughs> no. And I just cut it as close as I could there to the edge, because I'm going to use this as um, kind of the middle part of this card. And everything else looked too fussy for it with me. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to do like um, 
uh, a blocking, I would call this a color blocking technique. So I thought that really did need uh, the solids instead because it was just a, a little too busy. And to figure this out on the sizes, I cut this first, went as narrow as I could, realized it was going to come right here, so I didn't want to add another layer because I didn't want that any, any closer. And so I knew how wide my paper would be, and then I just cut one, and then I just kind of measured and cut the other. So it's all just winging it. You know, you just kind of create from, you know, it wouldn't have mattered if I'd cut this closer to the L's, then i just make one of these bigger. So it's just experimenting. Is this supposed to be all the way to the edge or not? No, nope, that's good. Whatever you do will be good, you know. <laughs> right, I'm not going to complain, at least publicly. No. <laughs> Afterwards. Afterwards. Tim, what were you thinking? Time for, yes, <laughs> time for conversation. No. <laughs> it's too low. I should have put, you want to cut the but top that, off? But that's okay. Well, see, we could do that. We could make a whole different size. That would work too. <laughs> Roman Road Quilt Block. Is that with these three stripes? I wouldn't know that that's a name, but I know I've seen quilts like that. Okay, and on... Um, this one, just to show a few things, I thought I might put a little of this. This is the, the twine. And I'm just gonna get be really, I'm just gonna do one. This is the twine that has silver in it. I think it's just so pretty. So we'll we'll see. I'm gonna try to. I'm going to try to do a, I'll do a knot first. I'm going to try to do a bow. If it doesn't work, then I'll stick with knots. You know, it's all good. There, that's kind of fun. And we'll cut those. Okay, so there's my hello. <laughs> Okay, and moving right along, this one I took. Well, I love this, but you know, since I'm showing possibilities, I cut it out. So then I'm left with this, and my thank you there fit really well. Of course, I need to disguise that. So I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay. Should I go get your Kleenex? I carry. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, you might want to. So for this one, I carry a hanky with a T on it for Titus. You know, oh, okay. Or for Timothy. <laughs> okay. And she probably wouldn't trust that it's clean, so I'm not going <laughs> to offer it to her. But. This time, I love this. This made me laugh, of course. And I wanted to put this inside, so I just trimmed this one. So now I have a little border built in right there. So another thing you can do with this. Uh, these scissors uh, actually were gifted to me by somebody. I love the, st the Stampin' Up! ones, too. Oh, here, uh, so I better switch. Thank you for catching that. Here would be the <laughs> Stampin' Up! ones. But, yes, I, um, I I take gifts in any shape or form. So. <laughs> They're lost. Karen's game. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put, and it wasn't one left behind. That one was actually gifted to me. <laughs> we all know how that works when things get left behind. Okay, so this time I'm doing this. And then, since I wanted to cover this, I just took the same design as on another piece of paper. What kind of fussy cutting so is So I that? just did a little. It's really easy. And look at look what yeah, I'm giving up on good. this, because isn't it's that got, gorgeous? Oh, because the white oh, wool? Oh, because it's shaped, and, you know, it's... And the white will disappear? He says, did you guys hear that? I didn't do a very good job, because you can see the white. <laughs> yes. He's saying my fussy cutting is not as good as his. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I think you are. I think you are. <laughs> and I'm not putting up with it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. First, I just have to decide where I want to put this. Okay, I'm going to put that over there. So I'll put that right here. Can I tell you that my, my shamrock last week... <laughs> Worst fussy cutting I've ever done, and I'll never do that. He's again. really, really embarrassed about that I card, am. and he's yeah. never been embarrassed about a card. So let me tell you guys, that was a little hard for him to, to take. So, but you know, we all learn. And now I just dropped that on the floor, and then I'm going to make this kind of go like the others. So see, it just looks like another little, a, a, another little thing from there. And what did I just drop? Your pokey thing. Oh, I did. Well, I. Find it. Nope. 
that's okay. I may be without it. Tim's the finder. So I really can't use that. Can I really use these? See, I just want to add some things. They're really kind of bright for this, aren't they? So did you find one? No. Okay. No. I might add something to it later. I got to get down on my hands and knees. Next. I love this one, too, but you see, may your days be as wonderful as you are. So there's my birthday thing. This was the card, and of course, it goes too long because it's a six inch, so you could do an oversized card, but for this one, I chose a base card out of one of these colors, and I trimmed it just a wee, a wee bit because I want to make a pocket for this. Do you still have your pokey thing out there? It, no, but I'm fine. I don't really need it. We can find it later. So to do this, oh, here's, see, here's my other hello. That's why I couldn't. <laughs> I just scored this. I scored uh, just under one inch, but it's not like I had a plan. Because then I just put this here. And then I scored it here. So now it'll wrap around. And then I scored it here. So it wraps right there. And anytime you're going to score something like that, you're going to want to do a little cutting so it folds over easier. Okay. So I'm just going to put all this on here. These are in my mind. A lot of these, you know, aren't finished. So we'll just see if they work. So this is going to go. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. Going to go right here. If it doesn't, it, it is what it is. That's right. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna actually cut these these ends off. There's no reason to have those. Yeah, yeah you guys are okay with just watching me experiment, right? Sometimes. Because look how quick and easy these are, and What's I here? have oh, oh, and that should have been trimmed a little more, but Good enough is good enough. Here's my model for today. I can fix that. I can fix most things. Then this is going to go in here, and this is going to be a fun little, you can pull this part out, and this is going to have, I'm just going to use glue dots and put on a fun little gift card. So it's actually going to be a little gift card wrap. <laughs> okay, that's here. the next one. Oh, and look, can I, yeah. <laughs> can I tell you where your pokey thing went? Yeah. This okay. was on the floor underneath yeah. the table. This is from one of my classes, and so I haven't classes. put them away no, for a while. Did, it's, you know, just got <laughs> tossed. It was in there. <laughs> so I made a basket. <laughs> okay. That one actually is garbage. Okay, so here comes my next one. Karen, Karen before this whole thing started, said, Tim, I'm going to do, what, 10 of them? Uh -huh. Well, a dozen. It's, dozen. A, it's a dozen. Dozen, and she says really quick ones. Yeah, but I think they're pretty quick. But I, st you know, but we're, we're almost to the end. So, so, so we're good. It's working. Now, these are these gray ones. This is gray with berry burst, and this is gray with flirty flamingo. You know, but they really kind of go together. So I thought I was going to put this on and layer it this way. You could put a smiley face in it. So what I did was I cut off the end. This is the size I want this to be on my paper. So I cut this off, and then here's my end. And you know, it's not perfect, but it's a card. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to put this on the bottom. There, and now it'll, it'll look like a short one, right? I can put this one in the middle. And I can put this on my card. Sometimes, Karen, you amaze me. They're mostly working. And I only have two, two left, and one's already done, so it's okay. Looks. And now this is going to be, so here I use, this is cut out from one of the others. And then I use the, the Flirty Flamingo for a little thanks. And that will be popped up. I got to say, that's a good job. I like it. Okay. And then so one more to show. Yep. These together. Yeah, this one I'm just going to show. Yes, I want you to pop up that last part. Okay. And then I just want to show, I did this one. This is our standard Z fold. We fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So here's one of the colorful papers. And here again is this big one. And I did this the same way I did the others. And then I did my words and popped up a little flower. So this will go this way. And then the very last one, I took 
There's this huge one that says, I love you. And I thought, okay, I have to figure out what I could do with that. So I cut that out. And this is as long as it goes. And I thought, then I'm just going to fill in the rest. Because I think this will make um, a pretty card. And I am going to go back and fussy cut it afterwards, just for the sake of time here. So for right now... Oh, I mean, I, I have to fussy cut it, but I mean, I'm going to go back and make it perfect. I will use the other. I just wanted to give you the general gist here of how he's doing this. So you see how that's going to go up there. And then this one is going to go down here. And of course, I haven't done this, but I am thinking this will turn out quite lovely. Okay, so this one's going to go there. And then I'll put two little pieces here. And this will be my card. Okay, well... Well, thanks, guys. Okay, so that's it. These will all be on my blog, but then we have one other I'm showing my quick thing to show. Oh, he wants to show his work. Uh, the other new stamp set, because this is going to be Tim's turn, is the, the lovely papers. Oh, okay. So I, I, they're telling me I don't need to worry about going late, so it's okay. Okay, do I need a... Do yes, need you this? need a cover here, and your okay. thing is right there. So Tim is going to do a technique with this new paper. The Yes. Is this beautiful or what? I'm going to do a tech. Oh, with this. Okay. <laughs> what kind of technique are you going to be doing here? I am going to do br brayering. Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And you're starting with pool party. And this is... we He's actually, never done it, so... <laughs> this living room, if you look around, this whole living room was painted with this little brush. So it's not true. I wish, I wish these things had soundtracks like that. You push a button for laughter. <laughs> kind of like those old... He likes some sounds, you know. Those old uh, TV shows that had a laugh track. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to keep doing this. but Good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that card kit. So think about that one. If you still have something you want to order, but you didn't know that there were any celebration items you wanted, you know. Okay. Beautiful. That was Pool Party. Next will be Tempting Turquoise. As, as you can tell just by looking. And because he's going darker, we're not even cleaning the brayer. Oh, we're not? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. And then, oh, this is the best part. When I get done with this little strip, then I just use it and go, it'll, it'll blend it much better. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Is that enough for that color? I think it is. Then we're on to Bermuda Bay. And you can control the intensity by how many times you go over it of the color. Yes. Something that I enjoy doing is controlling the intensity. <laughs> yes, right. While he's braring, I better just show. This is going to be the, the drawing for today. I didn't see this. This cute post set. Love you lots from the past. It's a blast from the past. Okay, D done with that one? There's a lot a lot that happened when you put that oh, over. Yeah, so Tim would like yeah. to start over. <laughs> I would. Okay, so we're getting darker. And the last one is Island Indigo. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I guess I didn't do much controlling of that. In fact, I probably just ruined the whole thing. Oh, it all looks good. And then you can rub it with a Kleenex. And oh, any right. extra will come off. That's my probably telephone. my mom. It's probably my mom. <laughs> We're trying to sell a car. It could be somebody. Yeah, it could be a car, yes. So isn't that a pretty look? He will finish that card and we'll, he'll share it on Monday night. Okay? I will. I think I'm supposed to get up. And I just wanted to share, these, this paper is so much fun to color that I just wanted to share here with, um, so here is just one of the flowers and I have a berry burst marker. And by just coloring it in, and I don't care if it smudges, I'm not being careful about all the lines because I'm just fine with the smudging, smudging out of the lines. I'm just going to show you on part here. And then when I go soften it, 
I don't know if you can tell, but all the marker lines are gone, and it's just a really smooth, pretty color. Yes, Tim, was that was an ombre technique. Thank you, Sally. Okay. And then if I want it darker, I can go back over again. But do you see how this leaves uh, marker lines? Of course, this is pretty with blends, too. What's ombre? Uh, Multicolor, where uh, shades oh. of a color. Okay, I meant so I'm going to do it on this part, but Manning. I see, Tim, you can see that, right? Manning. You've got all the Spanish. little, little um, markers. It's, sometimes this is the reason I don't like to color with markers on, you know, regular paper because you're kind of left with those mark, um, all those marker lines. But look, when we smudge that off, we just have the prettiest, softest look. Isn't that lovely? This paper is the uh, f foils. What is it? The foils? The new um, fun foils? Springtime foils. It's one of the new celebration sets choices <coughs> and it is gorgeous paper so you get this and um the one that tim did nancy wants to know what kind of paper was tim using uh, you're using the same thing it's the spring foils just see here is the same paper that he used without being colored see the difference i mean it's just so fun to color with this but look how pretty this is just plain and i just added a a gold butter uh, a dragonfly there and on this one, there I just kind of did a little watercolor under, but um, all of these are colored like this. Now, this is Flirty Flamingo, and that's very burst. We have very different colors, but look at all these different flowers. You get just all these fun little different colors. Okay, so that is that. And the last thing I want to share, and then Holly will do the drawing after I share a few more things here. Maybe that's the drawing. I want, you know, uh, we made a bunch of these. These are some of the new things that were added. One is the, the thick cable stitching. And, you know, it's kind of a winter thing. Make sure I'm adding all the right things. But the the um, the cable thing. But isn't this just a great way to do a sweater? So I just show it. Even though we're getting out of sweater weather, this is just a great. This is another free choice. But you do have to use. I put in my newsletter today. And it'll also be on in my shop. You can click on the new things. Because there are different numbers you use if you want to get these things free. Because these are also for sale. You can buy these or get them for free. You can get the Birthday Memories Designer Series paper. And these, again, are all made from that paper. I said, are these just beautiful? So I'm just doing um, a quick look. I'll go through these one more time and see if I have names. This one does not have a name anymore, but how the, about that cute dog there? This one, I believe, is Jessica Hill. It's got this cute little bunny. Here's the poodle again, Kim Allen. I think these are just sweet cards. Amy Combs, and it's a chance to, to get it free. And Lynn Fellcamp. Another free choice is the Glimmer paper. So I just wanted to show a couple of ideas, you know, where it's used here. And then I'm going to show, oh, this is how that paper pack comes. I don't know if I showed it, but it looks like this. And I, <laughs> yeah, I ramble. I'm a little scattered, but I had to show, look what I have left. I made a dozen cards and I still have this much left. So think, <laughs> my piles hardly, you know, I've used uh, probably not even half of it, maybe half of it, but look how many cards you can make out of this. So it is such an awesome deal. And... And then I just want to show a couple favorite cards. This is just a little walkthrough since we're kind of at the end of celebration here. Just some favorites from the free choices. Just love this color blocking again here. Like I had done in that card. It's epic. With the guitar. This is Deb Ives. And, you know, it's a small card put on top. Isn't that pretty? Love that. And from the same set, it's the shoes. And another lovely inside. And that is Denise Wilson. So, so far it's been Eric Clapton and Dennis Wilson from the Beach Boys. So oh, okay, okay. So yeah, figure out the peacock, Tim. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. And here's that glitter, glimmer paper again. Doesn't that just add? I, these colors are just beautiful. And this is Jessica Brigden. I have nothing. Love how that's done. And the happy birthday. I think this one is just really elegant. And, and it just has a, a folder down there. And of course, little panda bear is going to be greatly missed. 
And I love this panda bear card because it's the, this is by, oh, I forgot to say a name here. Janine Swain. And did I say a name for this one? Jennifer Hill. So sorry, stop me. Uh, this one is done. This is great. This is Cindy Bauman. She lives in Hawaii and she often makes things that are you know, Hawaiian. So I think this panda with, you know, the little grass hula skirt or whatever it is, is just adorable. And you see how she just took a punch and then took a punch again and then cut it and put the little flower. Okay, but what side, when you wear a flower on one side of your head, Are you taken with the right? You're, or, you're, you're or either you, available or you're, you've already been... And we wouldn't know. Um, I don't know. And I, think, this, I think she's available. This is another one of the set of two embossing folders that you can choose. That's really a fun one. And so are these sequins that are the back of this one. And, and I love this. this. These are more celebration things. And you see how that is just kind of tucked in to the frame there? That's Karen Duke. And another one where these are just stamped all over. And I think this just really is a pretty background and a celebrate you. And I love the gray and the so saffron too. Julie Salva. Um, Lori, does your glimmer paper shed its glitter everywhere? I guess I haven't found that to be a real problem. Has, has anyone else found it to be a problem? And, you know, maybe I just haven't used it enough, but I haven't found it to be a problem. The peacock, yes, is NBC. Oh, the peacock. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and I, you know, I love, you know, gray is kind of like brown and black. Those are all such great neutrals. But isn't that pretty with Wisteria Wonder? And I love how this is put across the top and then the little heart there. And it says heartfelt thoughts. So a great place to put a little heart. And this is Sandy Carlson. And Dan Fogelberg recorded a song called Wisteria. Oh, oh, Tim is the trivia, as long as it's related to music. <laughs> and this too, look at these colors. I just think that is so pretty. This one has lost its name, but uh, you know, and there's that touch of gray again. Touch of gray, that's Karen in my hair. Oh, we're way beyond a touch of gray, Tim. <laughs> Especially me. Oh, maybe a touch of gray, maybe white with a touch of gray. I see where you're going with that. Okay, and I love the sympathy card. This is Jeanette Swain again, and I love how she just did this background. I think that's from, I think it's called You've Got This. Look at that soft little background and then the flower on top. I just love that idea. I think that is just a really pretty sympathy card. And one last one with the fold-up card and the birthday in Joyce Hall. So, I can put that back. And if you want to, whoops, if you want to, like a, a thing of grapes on the vine, yeah. Just turn it upside down. Just, just turn it upside down. So I hope you enjoyed today with all of these quick cards. Remember, they'll all be on my blog tomorrow. This is the last month to get these free celebration items. And it's just great that they added some things. So make sure you notice that. And make sure you notice um, any of the codes inside. Oh, I haven't given you my house code. If you're placing an order, you can always get this at KarenTitus.com. And it is BH96MAQ9. We're also winding down on the time to get two extra stamp sets of your choice for free if you buy the starter kit. It is such an awesome deal. So please let me know if you want to talk about that. And I'm going to sit down. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Can we'll I? put all this on the, and let me know if you have any other questions. And the winner of our Blast from the Past, these are just so, so fun. It's like a... I have used this frog so much, and little hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are really popular, so they're pretty cute. And it is Rebecca Nye, is it N-E-I? So, Rebecca, all you need to do is message us your address. And this will go into the mail for you. And thank you for participating in this. Thank you, everyone. Um, to see all the lists for available, you just go to um, my online store, which is Karen Titus dot stampin up dot net or you can get there from my blog and just click on shop now then you click on shop now and there's celebration and it'll give you all the all the new celebration things if you have trouble finding it let me know i attached the new flyer to the uh newsletter that went out today and these are the you know two of the other that gorgeous paper you know, was added before and then the basket and the basket and weaving and one other stamp set. So if you need to know any of that, feel free to give me a message because I want you to do that. And let me know if you have questions. And let me know if you live in uh, Washington State, Oregon, California, Northern California, and uh, um, might like to do something 
when Holly comes through or attend something. You know, you know, we'll plan it. But okay, thanks everyone. Have a wonderful time, and we will see and you on Monday. A lot of build up to this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, yes, yeah. So we can forget the green after. Yes. Who sent you a recipe? Someone sent Tim a yes. recipe for um. Yes. For uh. He'll have to I think, or was it, was it Francis? I can't remember. One of you sent me, says, oh, I might have to make this. <laughs> I should send that because we've never had Debbie, that. Debbie Bacon. Debbie Bacon. Okay, Debbie, he just may have to try that. So all sounds good. So yeah, have a happy St. Patrick's Day and a wonderful weekend. See you Monday night for chatting over cards and then for class, those of you in the class. All Bye. right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.